Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The BTR-90 armored personnel carrier emerged from development in the early 1990s, with the first prototype completed in 1994. Evolving from the BTR-80 APC, it boasted enhanced armament, greater mobility, improved protection, and increased internal volume. However, the journey of the BTR-90 was marked by lengthy, troubled, and expensive development. While a small number of pre-production APCs were acquired by the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs in the mid-1990s, limited funding prevented the BTR-90 from entering mass production. Presently, the Russian army has resorted to ordering BTR-82 APCs as an interim solution until the new generation Boomerang armored personnel carrier becomes available. Despite being offered to export customers, no orders for the BTR-90 have been placed to date. The hull of the BTR-90 APC boasts thicker armor compared to its predecessors, with forward windscreens replaced by periscopes to enhance protection of the front section. Claimed to offer protection against 14.5mm rounds within its front arc, the BTR-90 can be further fortified with additional armored panels or explosive reactive armor modules. Notably, a specialized Tifon explosive reactive armor was developed for this APC, augmenting its defense against mine blasts. Moreover, the vehicle can be equipped with active protection systems, while standard features include NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems, rendering the BTR-90 more safeguarded than its Soviet-wheeled APC predecessors. Internally, the BTR-90 maintains the standard layout of the BTR family, with the engine compartment situated in the hull rear, the driver positioned at the front, and the turret controls and troop compartment located in the middle. Benefiting from increased external dimensions and internal volume, the vehicle can transport loads weighing up to 7,000 kg in lieu of troops. Armed with a 30mm cannon, coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and a turret akin to that of the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle, the BTR-90 also features a 30mm automatic grenade launcher and a single concourse, known as the AT-5 Spandrel in the West, anti-tank guided missile launcher, offering a maximum range of 4,000 meters. Both the commander and gunner have the capability to operate all vehicle weapons, including engaging low-flying helicopters with the main 30mm gun. Accommodating seven fully equipped troops, the BTR-90 facilitates entry and exit through side entry doors and roof hatches, supplemented by firing ports within the vehicle hull. Powered by an unspecified turbocharged diesel engine developing 520 horsepower, with plans for a 630 horsepower engine in the works, the BTR-90 maintains the rear installation of its engine for improved weight distribution and amphibious capabilities. Despite some drawbacks, such as awkward entry, this layout was insisted upon by the Soviet military to preserve the vehicle's amphibious qualities. Additionally, the BTR-90 features an automatic gearbox, an 8x8 configuration, and steerable front wheels, alongside a central tire inflation system for enhanced mobility across challenging terrain. Fully amphibious, the BTR-90 deploys a trim vane and activates bilge pumps before entering the water, utilizing two rear-mounted water jets for propulsion. Moreover, the baseline model offers potential for a variety of variants, including the BTR-90M prototype unveiled in 2001, equipped with a modified BMP-3 turret armed with a 100mm gun and coaxial 30mm cannon. That's all for now, see you later.